Okay, so 13F filing is in for Q2 2022. And for those of you who do not know what that is, Form 13F is a mandatory quarterly report that is to be filled in by all institutional investment managers with at least $100 million in assets under management. Now, this report discloses equity holdings of those institutions and it provides really helpful insight to the public what stocks the smart money people are buying and selling in this market. So today we're gonna to be looking at the smartest money that there is and that is of course Warren Buffett himself so let's dive into what he thinks about the market right now and what stocks he has picked in the last quarter. Now, first thing to note is how much of his portfolio is being reserved in cash. And so at the end of 2021, we were able to see that his cash position was a whopping $143 billion. And at that time, a lot of people actually criticized him for not investing enough because the market was actually doing really well. But quickly, by the end of Q1 2022, his position actually dropped $102 billion, which meant that he dropped about $41 billion into the markets. So he didn't go shopping that much as his cash position, according to the 13F filing, sits around $105 billion right now. So he holds about a third of his portfolio in cash and the rest invested in stocks. But there were some noteworthy decisions he made in Q2 and we are going to look at more closely his top 10 stock picks and why he might have added his position into the stocks he picked. So as you can see from this chart, he added the biggest positions in Occidental Petroleum, Chevron Corp, and Activision Blizzard in order. So let's look at why he is buying additional shares in Activision Blizzard. And so according to the Form 13F, Berkshire Hathaway Group has tripled its ownership of Activision Blizzard stock. Now this comes despite the market's general pessimism around whether the regulators will actually approve Microsoft's $68.7 billion takeover of Activision. Now currently Microsoft owns 9.5% of the video gaming company. So when it comes to Microsoft owning the whole of the company, there is going to be some regulatory hurdles. Now, Warren Buffett said Berkshire Hathaway has been increasing its stake in Activision Blizzard in a merger arbitrage play, betting that Microsoft's proposed acquisition of the video game company will definitely close. And so why is there an arbitrage play on this one? Well, in January, Microsoft announced intentions to buy Activision for $95 per share. Now, Buffett said that he's been buying more shares of Activision since the deal was announced, as the stock for Activision Blizzard is trading way below Microsoft's offer at $95 a share. Now, buying at these levels, you will yield a bigger return if the deal in fact closes. So at this moment, Activision Blizzard trades at $78 per share, and the stock has been nowhere near the proposed acquisition price by Microsoft at $95 per share. Typically, this announcement would make the share price to soar up to $95 or close to those figures. But the prices have been lingering around about the $80 mark and Warren Buffett sees a strong opportunity that the shares will soon match the price of the acquisition by Microsoft should the deal be successful. And the general outlook is changing that this bet is more than just a risky bet and will likely come to a positive fruition. And so this kind of play is what's called merger arbitrage. The word arbitrage can be understood as a risk-free bet. For example, if you can buy a stock on one exchange for $10 and simultaneously sell it on another exchange for $11, that's a form of arbitrage. Arbitrage typically takes advantage of short-term price discrepancies in financial markets. Now, this happens to real items like cars, a ton in crypto, and in this case, stocks. And when it comes to merger arbitrage, the general idea is that after a company agrees to acquire a specific price, its shares will typically rise to a level close to, but not quite equal to, the bid price. So consider this example. Student housing company, American Campus Communities, recently agreed to sell itself to Blackstone Investment Funds at a price of $65.40 per share in cash. The stock jumped after the deal was announced, and as I record this, the share trades for $64.70. So if you were to buy a thousand shares of American campus communities now and hold them until the deal was finalized, you would receive $65,470 for a $64,700 investment, a profit of $770. Now, that is the basic idea behind merger arbitrage. American campus community stock is trading for about 1% less than the takeover price, indicating that the market views it as extremely likely that the deal will go through. Planned mergers and acquisitions do fall through from time to time, however, and sometimes regulators block a deal, for example. 
And the greater the perceived risk that a deal will hit a roadblock, the larger the spread between the current and takeover price can be. However, that doesn't mean that it is all doom and gloom for Microsoft and Blizzard because just up until three days ago, jurisdictions have been approving this acquisition and the deal seems to be taking strong steps to move forward for Microsoft. And it is also interesting to note that Warren Buffett has shared with the reporters that this play is not so much a long-term play, but a shorter term play. If the deal goes through, we make some money and if the deal doesn't go through, who knows what happens. So should this pan out according to Warren Buffett's plan, he will make a cool 20%. So now let's move on to look at the bigger major event behind the 13F filing by Berkshire Hathaway, and that is Warren Buffett's bet on Occidental Petroleum, where he has added a further 16.26% to the position since the quarter before. And, and so it looks like for Berkshire Hathaway, the flavor of the quarter is oil. Buffett has been acquiring large amounts of Occidental Petroleum. Now Form 4, for those of you who don't know, is a statement of changes in beneficial ownership. And it is a document that must be filled with the Securities and Exchanges Commission SEC whenever there is a material change in the holdings of company insiders. Now insiders consist of directors and officers of the company as well as any shareholders owning 10% or more of the company's outstanding stock. Now the form asks about the reporting person's relationship with the company and about purchases and sales of such equity shares. And so here you can see how often Berkshire Hathaway has been adding to their position. Not only is this position for Occidental Petroleum been increasing in Q2, we can also see from the beginning of Q3 here has continually been adding further positions at around $55 to $59 per share. In fact, we can see up until 4th of August, he has been adding a total of $13.8 billion and a whopping 20% ownership of the entire company. And just to note quickly, in Chevron, he has a $26.7 billion stake owning about 8.4% of the entire company. And collectively with Chevron and Occidental Petroleum makes up a good 11.4% of his entire portfolio, having purchased over $25 billion into Chevron and Occidental this year collectively. So why is Warren Buffett making this decision? Currently, Buffett and his team are likely bullish over energy prices, which have surged on the back of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, disrupting global supplies in oil. They probably determined that both companies, Occidental Petroleum and Chevron, were undervalued and admired their management teams. Josh Young, the founder and chief of Bison Interest and specialist in energy stocks, said, Chevron is probably the best run mega cap integrated producer. He also added that at the time that Warren Buffett started to buy in March, was the cheapest producer with the most upside to higher oil prices. Young further explained that Occidental makes more money when oil prices rise than its competitors do, describing the pronounced impact as the company's cash flow talk. He also highlighted Occidental's aggressive debt repayments in CEO Vicky Holub's a clear plan to revitalize the company and its focus on returning capital to shareholders. Now, Warren Buffett started buying the stock after reading through Occidental's annual report and gaining confidence in company's growth growth and its leadership. Warren Buffett also said during Berkshire Hathaway's annual meeting in April, what Vicky Holub was saying made nothing but sense and I decided that it was a good place to put Berkshire's money. Warren Buffett is one of those investors who take note of the leadership and once he recognizes talent and sound management, he will put his money in the company. And to further encourage his strategy, recently Buffett received permission to buy up to half of Occidental Petroleum, which boosted the share price of Occidental by 10% on the news which also pushed their gains in 2022 more than 145%. So what do you think about Warren Buffett's place? How do you plan on investing your money in 2022? Leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so, make sure you go smash the like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you can stay updated with the videos that I post. Thank you so much.